Yu-Gi-Oh Mint.com is now TradingCardMint.com. Please check out their selection of over 20,000 cards with prices cheaper than TCG Player. All right, what is up, YouTube? I'm Cordy. We are here with our homie, The Claw. Hi, um, my name is Luna. Oh, oh. Thank you. Uh, we're going to be doing his homebrew current format legal victor. Um, we will probably be revising this for Kick Kick after... Um, a little bit sooner. When it comes out sooner. Yeah, we'll be revising this. Yeah, this is this. just something fun. So, this is current TCG legal. Uh, we will be, like I said, we'll be going back to Kick Kick very shortly. Um, because Kick Kick is the superior build. Yes. Post... Legality. You mean standard dot deck with extra deck, yes. You mean with the victor? No. Oh. Four Luminal, four Asher. Alright, you are crazy, my man. Uh, we can also, we're also going to build the loop deck here soon. Oh. Yeah. Where I deck my opponent on turn one. <laughs> oh, in standard? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, it's not standard, it's premium. Oh, no, there's one for standard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're also going to build a victor geese, too. <sighs> That's going to be a hell of a time, guys. I'm not looking forward to that. Get ready for that one. So this whole deck's life is you're going to slam this guy, and you're going to go, look at me, eight drive checks. Yep. Maybe more. Yeah, I haven't got over eight yet. I've also not opened three energy girls, so we're good. All right. So, like I said, tradingcarmid.com, enter Uncle 40 and check out, save a little bit of money. All right. Uh, the great Conway does not make oxal markers. <laughs> So we have four copies of Victor. Um, so what's Victor do? Counter Blast 1, draw a card, call a card, choose a unit, give it red text. A.K.A. Super Broken. And then at the end of the turn we get to counter charge one. Soul yeah, at one. the end of the turn if you have one or less cards face up and one or less cards on the soul, you soul charge one, counter charge one, draw one. So basically he's just your, he keeps you going, but you play enough stuff to counter charge that you don't really use it. I mean, it, you use it just to get the extra draw. It keeps you hydrated. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I like being able to restand units when my Vanguard attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we start getting into the spicy stuff. Oh, there's no spice right now. Three copies of Azure Dragon. So tell me about this card. Why is this good? Uh, if you go first, it's super good. If you go second, you just ride Victor like normal. That's the only reason it's in there. Um, <clears throat> plus, grabbing an extra Oxel Circle is not bad. What's his actual skill? Uh, when he's placed, you counterblast one, draw a card, call a unit. Um, then that unit immediately attacks your van or your opponent's vanguard. If the attack doesn't hit, the unit restands. And then if the attack hits, well, he just stays rested. Anyway. But you play the card on the Oxel Circle to make it like 19. So. And then this guy, when he attacks you, to counter blast one and stand unit. Yep, so essentially he's just standing units no matter what. Huh, the early game aggression you actually get with this is pretty valuable. Uh, he's only good when you go first, though, so you gotta be like, super careful. I mean, understandable, but. Yeah. He's no Illuminal Dragon. No, sad day. That's why we're only playing seven grade threes. Oh, is that Brutal Jack? I think there's a fourth in there. Are you playing four of that, Monkey? Nope. nope. Okay, cool. I'm only playing three. Yep, it's three. All right, so tell me about Brutal Jack. Mm, I'm 29k. That's all that matters. <laughs> during your turn, this unit gets 10k. And this unit can't stand during your next stand phase. But you get to rest two units and stand him, so that actually indirectly will proc your boy, right? Scarlet Witch. Uh, well, I mean Scarlet Witch, and you can get the extra drive check on a... Uh... Oh, yeah, yep. That's another reason <sighs> to play it. But it's two, it's it literally, like, you just got to be careful the way you play it. But I just like being able to call up with Azure Dragon and swing for 29k on a grade 2 banger. <laughs> Alright. You, uh. Typically, they'll let that hit. I would hope that they would. Alright, we play four copies of Goisachi. Card is freaking amazing. Counter Blast one, Restand one. As long as you have Victor Vanguard. But you play Strides that are Victor Vanguard, so you don't. If you have to ride an Azure, it's not going to kill you. You just stride into the Victor Strides. <laughs> So, and then you get to play like normal. Oh. Any, yeah. Anything else really worth note well about I mean, this guy? resist. Wow. Yeah. Oh, when he restands, he gets 7k if you're a GB2. Well, I mean, that does come up. Cause yeah, it makes him 16. Your deck is literally GB turbo. So. Yep. Good card. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And then the last card that we play is three of this guy. He's not as good. Kick kicks better. Tell me about Le Lego Ninjago. Kick kicks better. Okay, but what's this guy do? Uh, you get 2k for... He 
When he attacks, he you kind of lost one. Uh, you stand a unit. That unit and him both get 2k for each face-up card in your G-Zone. Man, and it has to have a Victor Vanguard. Yep. But that's why you play Victor Strides. Well, understandable. Yep. You'll have to play it for right now until we get Kick-Kick. Kick-Kick is amazing. Kick-Kick's better. I get that. Kick-Kick. And I would play four copies of this young lad. Um, how How is he doing for you? Uh, I like being able to restand. Uh, he procs two restands on the buster. That's how you get to seven, eight drives checks per turn. So, also, the other thing is if you have to ride this, you actually get the early game attack on the opponent. Yeah. Uh, interesting interaction with that, not that, that, and that. Um, you can put this in the same call on the Jackson, rest this, and rest another unit. This will restand, and this will restand with it. Huh. So. I actually didn't know that. Yep. So, I mean, it gets you to uh, restands for the buster before attacking. So, when you don't oh. really run out of soul, because, you know, this, that spice is coming up. All right. Tell me about this broken guy. I love playing a game. It's, uh, the AKA deck is called Let's Play a Game Now. Uh, literally flip top card. You rest that unit, which, for one, you rest it, is utterly broken. I don't know why it's not once per turn. Yeah, it's not, uh, which makes it retarded, because when you restand it with certain cards, you <laughs> just play... You literally are... You're essentially not searching to draw cards, uh, because you don't really care how many cards your opponent has in their hand, because when you go to the victor... When you... After you bustered, you go straight to the favorite champ victor turn, or the... Whatever, you go to your winner, and you basically stand the vanguard, like, six times, and you stand your units, like, seven times. Because you have a 16-card hand at maybe 4 damage, and you throw out a little bit of guard, and you have enough cards to burn through your opponent's hand. So basically, you play this, you're hoping all your cards go to soul, so that your buster gets like a 10 drive check, and you can restand your buster twice. And the broken thing with this card, though, is when you start hitting your opponent's triggers into the soul. Yeah, um, that's came up. Your opponent reveals a crit trigger, and you reveal a grade 2. The crit trigger goes to the soul for them, and then you get your grade 2, or 3, or 1. <sighs> um, essentially, decks that are drawing a lot, OTT, um, as long as you don't get beat up by Ishiki, you'll be okay. Because you can kind of force them really low, depending on how many times you can stand this. So, it's a good card. <laughs> Card's insane. Should have never made it. Now we have three copies of the Stride Fodder. Do you think that this is fine? Yeah, you went down to seven grade three, so you definitely have to have three Stride Fodders. Uh, also, um, <clears throat> if in the event you go second and you draw Azra and don't draw Victor, you need to use this to go get your Victor. Stri riding Azra when your opponent's um, already at grade three is not really that good because they G guard and then end you. Two copies of Give Everything Resisto. Yeah, you can go down to two. You don't need more than that. Kagero's not really relevant. I mean, and even if it is, your most of your units are already... You're good. Like, they're doing what they need to be doing on their attack, and that's restanding. Haha. -ha. Three copies of Mr. Bird. How are you liking this? I like it. Especially when, like... You can do some cheesy stuff with it, because you can call that, and after you soul charge, like, three cards off of your tentacles, you can call that soul blast one... Restand two tentacles, bustered through twice, and then draw the card. Because this card lets you draw as long as White Tiger's in there. White Tiger is the last one you still blast, obviously. Yeah, I mean, you're trying not to get rid of this. Yeah. Um, so we went to this build. It's like, it, like I said, it's a lot of fun. White Tiger, draw a card upon writing. Uh, you don't need a great three searcher anymore. Plus, I don't want Buster. Blow it up. Mm. <laughs> Triggers? Four copies of Energy Girl. Uh, this wins you games. You can cycle your de deck down to one card. Um, after your Buster turn. Um, and then throw two of these. Um, throw three of these in your back row. Um, and then every time they boost, they go back to the deck. You stand a unit. And then <clears throat> they go to your deck. Uh, interesting thing that happened this weekend was uh, I had two cards in deck. And I starked my opponent. And <laughs> I attacked with my rear guards first. Put this back. Shuffled my deck. And... Oh. Start could only attack once per turn, but it was restanding the rigors. So this is really good because it recycles and it stands something. That's what's really good about it. That's cheesy. We have four copies of the crit and the soul. You gotta keep your soul up, bro. Four heals. Yeah, you'll play on flip heals. You don't need them anywhere. Uh, four copies of twin blader. Yeah, you can't play the grade one. Uh, perfect. Barion. You uh, don't have room. 
Well, you can drop one of these, but you don't want to drop a draw trigger because um, that PG says you have to have a victory bank card. Oh. G-Zone, we have one copy of Super Buster. That's all you need. Because uh, you're only making it once. Two copies of Victor. Unflip fodder. Or Victoplasm. Two copies of Winning Champ. This is if you see Hanley in the beginning of the game. Uh, two copies of Media Kaiser Victor. The odd moment you have to ride a Zero Dragon and you need a Victor Vanguard. <laughs> One copy of Wing Con. Yeah, you win. Uh, when you need your secondary Wing Con. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, aggro and pressure. Yeah. Free strides. Wing Con. <laughs> Don't ask about that card. One Media Kaiser. Yep. One Unor. This actually came up one time. Huh. I still charged the card. And triple copies of our little friend. Yes. Actually, guys, if you want, you actually can drop. This is supposed to be a four. And you drop one of these. Okay. And then you can play for this. That gives your best G-Guard. Um, it also is a continuous and not an auto. Um, so you can you get the 10k boost if your opponent has more rear guards. So it's actually better than the other ones. Huh. All right, guys. Check out our friends shootingcarbonate.com down below in the description. Enter Uncle 40 and check out. Save a little bit of money. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out. Doop. That's not all, card fighters. Please subscribe for more card fight Vanguard content. Please remember to check out Mcole 40 for Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and please check out ImpulGames.com, my store, along with No Limit Gaming, NLGTCG.com, for all of your guys' trading card game needs as well. Until next time, guys, remember to hit that subscribe button. Later!